Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy, and thank you all so much for checking out the channel. Today's video is inspired by a comment that we got from SC Zombie Slayer in our Halo Infinite delayed video. Is Jeez. that going to cause problems for Xbox Series X? And through that conversation, SC Zombie Slayer mentioned why he believes that the Xbox Series X uh, is possibly going to win this next console generation and hopefully uh, he will like this video and thank you so much for checking out and inspiring this we are going to talk about the Xbox versus the PlayStation 5 the hardware the potential games that we know about who we think is going to win on launch and who we think is probably going to take it in the console generation Hopefully you all like this video, and don't forget to comment down below. And if you guys bring up some good points to us, we might do a video inspired by your comments. Let's get into the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. All right, and as always, like every YouTuber says, which... Funny enough, the analytics actually do support this. Only fifty percent of the, this is actually a thing. I can't believe it's a thing. Only fifty percent really of the people, only fifty percent of the people checking out our channel are that actually are subscribed. Yeah, I think YouTube lies. It's or it's got to be something with the algorithm, right? Right. Yeah. Only fifty percent of you uh, that are watching this are subscribed, and so if you are not subscribed, become a part of that fifty percent that is subscribed. And hopefully you guys will bring more of your friends over here to engage in the conversation. So we, let's we talk. Need the attention, please. He needs the attention. No, I think it's a we. You're a lead singer. You need it too. <laughs> All right. Let's talk next gen consoles. Matt. Oh, next gen. Uh, so are we talking the, uh, the RTX or are we talking about their new uh, graphics API structure? I mean, I know Intel has like a... Uh, a, a semi-marketable 16 core that might be affordable. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You meant consoles. Uh, consoles. <laughs> uh, PC master bitch. Over here. <laughs> no, um, in terms of the uh, in terms of the consoles. No, it's actually very interesting. And it comes down to what I've always said. Software. If you have the games, you'll win. Um, yeah. And that's one of the, the, the things that um, early on, I really am looking at. Because because we just don't know we just we just have no idea yet they're being very secretive they're being very Which good at being gives big. me concern yeah like I mean you think hey I'm trying to sell you new box look at the shiny on the new box but they're not they're not giving us any of that shiny and I'm like going where are the games yeah well so for me uh, looking early on I think as far as hardware only hardware is concerned. I really do think that Microsoft has stepped up their game, yeah, and they do yeah, have, no, they, they have. They've, they've got, got a, a good edge in hardware over Well, they're both the using PS5. the same AMD chipset, right? But the clock speed and the way they handle RAM is very different. Mm -hmm. And I just, yeah, in terms of raw power, I think the Series X has a slight edge. But in terms of how they utilize that power... It's anybody's game. Well, history has always told us that, or at least with this last console generation, that if Microsoft has their hardware to here and Sony has their hardware to here, Microsoft is going to use about that much of their hardware, whereas Sony is going to use about this much of their hardware. Well, it's the that PS3 tends all to over be, again. That tends to be what happens with this, and it's one of the things that makes me no, very skeptical it, it does. It does. about the Series X, because again, I am a Microsoft uh, as uh, or an Xbox fanboy. Go to Microsoft. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know how much of an Xbox fanboy you really are. Um, the um, are that that is what you default to, but that does not make you a fanboy if because you, you're not going to the forums to rabidly defend them. Wow. Um, but the I, um, I grew up with them. I'm telling you right now, I will own a Series X before I own a PS5 if I own a PS5. Well, keep in mind, I switched from 360 to PS4. Like I got a PS3 late. Like right. 2010, 2011 late. So, um, so in terms of raw hardware and power, man, I, I mean, I think, I don't think it's a little bit of a lead. I think it's, a, I think it's a moderate lead. I think in terms of just raw hardware, I think it's a no, moderate it's, lead. No, no. If you understand the way this uh, hardware works, it's it's a minimal lead, because um, they have more RAM with a. Uh, higher clock speed, and the, but the way they thread the RAM, whereas Sony is really shooting for like this variable, it'll scale up as you use it, and then it'll kind of wind down. That's a power-saving thing. Mm -hmm. Xbox is just like, 
I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go. And um, I don't know how many of us are green around here, but if that matters to you, well, there you go. Um, for the rest of us, though, um, higher clock speed and more RAM, always a good thing. But you need software to actually use it. And let's face it, Sony in the past has used and utilized their software and pushed their hardware to higher limits than I think the Xbox has. Well, it, and all, I, and all I you have to do... That, I hate seeing that because... All you have to do is look at you know the exclusives for the PlayStation 4, right? You have God of War. You have Horizon Zero Dawn. You have um, Ghost of Tsushima. You have The Last of Us Part 2 and, well, Part 1, but that was a PS3 release, so yeah, we'll throw it in there. Um, uh, you have Spider-Man. Un- Until Dawn, Spider-Man. Um, there's another one in there, that obvious one I'm missing. I already said Horizon Zero Dawn. It'll come to me. Anyway, point is, is that all these games really push the hardware. And what, regardless of what you think of The Last of Us 2, I hated it. I also it looked it. breathtaking. It, it did. It did. The it, only thing I've seen prettier is the PC version of RDR2, and that's with all the bells and whistles turned on. Yeah. Um, so... When it comes to just raw software, Sony does seem to be able to push their console a little bit more. I mean, you think about The Last of Us Part 1. That was a PS3 swan song. That came out about... Well, it came out in June. So I want to say well, about it still looks five great, months. And still looks great to this with day. With some slight upscaling yeah. and a little bit of you know, better you know, texture. No, it looks, it looks phenomenal. And so, no, they've always been able to do this. And I'm sorry. So I just named off a bunch of... You know, Sony exclusives, and uh, what does Xbox have again? Halo. No, well, that's not coming out at launch, so. No. What else? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, that I mean, I, I know they're obviously trying. They're working with a bunch of studios to try and no, get I know, like new that, IPs. The medium game looks really good. I can't name any others that look good, though. I I mean, I know they have them, that they're really pushing the, the Forza games, which look beautiful, but whether or not they actually... You've got to be into racing for that one, though. If you you're know, not into I, racing I games, mean, it's they, not going to do I much mean, for I mean, they're, they're pushing the Forza games, I know that much. Um, supposedly Fable, but is Fable really going to push the limits of what... Well, we have to see what they actually want to do with see, it See, and first. that's the other side of it, too. we got a CG trailer. We don't know. You know, I mean, um, I mean, I, you know, the Series X is promising, uh, you know, 120 frame rate, you know, 120 FPS. They're promising that now. Can whether we get that's better graphics. Um, now whether that, that's at 4K or 1080, I'm it assuming it's going to be. It won't no, be it's at 4K. not. It's going to be. At you saw what they had to do to Halo Infinite to get that run at 4K 60. It won't be. No, it no, be 4K it's going to be. Um, and man, I just, I, 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 I don't know if we're going to see again. What was that one looked like? Skyrim. Uh, oh yeah, by Obsidian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which actually Obsidian um, avowed. Avowed. Yeah, I might. Check that one out because Obsidian does a good job. Uh, honestly, you just all you had to say was Skyrim, but a sub, uh, but Obsidian. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. I'm totally in. <laughs> no, that's just the thing. Obsidian does a really. Um, I played a few of their games in the past, and they just do a great oh, job. You, you know, Fallout New Vegas, yeah, yeah. Kotor Two, yeah. um, you know, yeah, the Outer Worlds. I mean, no, they do a good you job. Know, you know, the classics. Yeah. Right. Um, but actually, Obsidian. I actually, mean, Outer Worlds is new. It's a good one, though. Yeah. From no, what I've heard. Yeah. I need to play it. It's on the list. But that's. Uh, um, I mean. I don't know that that avowed looks really good. That that just looks, and I'm sorry if we if how you can, so it was a 30 second CG trailer where we followed an arrow for most of it. How did that look good? Oh no, because uh, to me I was just like, I, I I saw that and I was just like I want to play it, and that's how it looked good. <laughs> that's what the trailers are for. That's the entire reason. But we didn't see anything. No, we didn't. And but that goes back to the Microsoft showcase, which we're not getting back into that beast because we can open up. Though that. it is important. It is important. That is that important when it comes to launch titles and it, when it comes to games. Nobody showed us anything. I know Sony's coming out with the PS5 um, with um, Spider-Man Miles, Miles Morales. Morales. Yep. And then there was another one. I'm drawing a blank on it right now. Um, Nope, it's gone. Well, I mean, um, here's the thing. Oh, so you know what? I think will be a really good test to both of these systems is if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, Cyberpunk's going to be multiplat. Well, yeah, that'll help. No, but. so what I'm saying is that when you actually have Cyberpunk on the Series X and on the PS5. Oh, you think they're bank it? They're they're actually kind of sitting there going, now we're just going to let Cyberpunk take it. Uh, they might, but it, it all depends on who has the better hardware that's going to run that game. 
Yeah. Well, I'm when you go multiplayer like that, then all of a sudden uh, hard work comes all, back into it. Then all of a sudden you can actually start looking at As that. All and of now, a sudden I can run. I have you know better lighting and higher resolution textures at 4K 60 versus I've got a slightly diminished at a 4K 30 or something like that. Where, where, wherever we end mm-hmm. up, or you know, or holy crap, this game looks beautiful and runs completely flawless at 10, uh, at, at, you know, at 1080 20 or 1080 120. I mean, but or I can kick on a mode and all of a sudden I, I it goes think, to 4K 30. I really, and I really scra- think yeah. if we're gonna if we're gonna discuss when how these how this next gen console generation is really going to fight it out, I think it's going to be in the multiplat games. Well, I think it's going to be in the multiplat games. That's, well, no, that goes back to um, and I'm sorry, I uh, I'm terrible with names, but our commenter's uh, point. Oh, is, is at, that see Zombie Slayer? Thank you. Um, he uh, he brought up that you're really going to gravitate to where your friends are playing, and uh, whoever owns the most of what is what you're going oh, to play. Oh, and you're telling me that CD Projekt Red just using them for an example? Yeah. They're going to be cross-plat. Oh, of course they are. They're going to be cross That's where They, they already that's, are. You can already pre-order the PS4, well, and the see, Xbox and, One, and or the PC edition. Actually, that's a very important point, though, is as we start going cross-plat, we're going to have to start looking at what does it run better on because that's what you friends mean, are like going to say. You mean like the last console release where we did this with the PS4 and the Xbox One? Been there, done that. No, I know, but but what I'm saying or is... Or the PS3 and the Xbox One or the Xbox and the PS2. We haven't had cross-plat games for that long. Oh, you mean like true like... Yes, cross-platform. Like I, like you're playing on a PlayStation, I'm on an Xbox. Oh, or you're, that's cross-play. Cross, that's not cross-platform. Um, no, no, multi-platform and then cross-plat. No, multi-platform and cross-play. Um, yes, cross-play is when you're able to play on multiple yeah, yeah, platforms one. together. Cross-plat or multi-platform means that it just releases on different platforms. No, I was using those in two totally different contexts, though. I'm surprised you didn't pick up on that. Anyway, regardless of my <sighs> misusage of the gamer language, it doesn't matter. What we're going to see here is that it's if like, somebody it's like says, somebody just walks up and goes, yeah, Matt, if you just turtle your chicken right and you just <laughs> no, Matt, you just need to turtle it. You just need to turtle. It. And you go, huh? <laughs> he knows what I'm saying. He knew exactly what I'm saying. He's just dogging on me. But no, but that's going to be one of the testaments of this. And that's where we're really going to go back into no, the absolutely. hardware side of it is that if we do start getting those. Cross, well, I, I still think that the you know, those cross play games, if we really do start getting those. We're actually going to have to start talking hardware. As if somebody says... Yeah, no, absolutely. Because if, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm playing on a PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to play with my buddy who has a Series X. And he's sitting there going, you know, dude, why are you doing so bad? Why are you doing so bad? And it's because he's at, you know, 1080, 120 or 4K 60. And I'm sitting there struggling at 4K 30 locked. Yeah. Because they didn't give me an option. See, and that's where the hardware is really going to come into the. So the next, I, I do come back to this. I don't think the hardware discrepancy is as big as people make it out of. And also, T flops or teraflop, it means nothing. It means nothing. It's an aggregate. It's like rotten tomatoes. It gives you a baseline idea, but it means nothing. No, no, I, I don't disagree with you. You and I've yeah. had this conversation many times. Yeah. So I, I think off the start of, uh, I think off the start, dude, just the games. Uh, there's a couple. Here and there. Well, I'm also concerned about Sony's but they're exclusive all lineup. All new titles. Yes, there I'm, is nothing. Well, I'm PlayStation ab- has Spider-Man Miles Morales right there. You already knew the last Spider-Man was great. Now we're going to give you another Spider-Man. I don't, so- I don't disagree, but Sp- uh, Spider-Man is good enough. But is it good enough on? Uh, it's good enough on its own merits. Is my point? It's because it's Spider-Man to pay for another system. I think it is. From you, what you I've really heard. think so. Dude, everything that I have heard. Why, why not come out with a God of War 2 or something like that? where uh, Or God of War uh, Ragnarok. I, I, mean, I don't oh, know well, if we're following. You know, yeah. I'm assuming that they're going to. But of course on they're launch, going to. On launch, fact of the matter is, is there are not many sequel titles out there on launch for the Xbox that are going to draw people into one of them. Well, also, I'm, I'm still concerned that Horizon Zero Dawn is not a strong enough IP to lure people in. It's not... You know, it's not God of War. It's not Naughty Dog, and Naughty Dog's name is you know Tarnished. a little bit contentious. Which these and that's days. actually a big thing with Sony too. Yeah, if Naughty Dog starts, you know, as part lack of what of sold be- the PS3 was Naughty Dog. The people who made Crash Bandicoot came out with Uncharted. If they start yeah. screwing it up when it comes down to uh, Naughty Dog, I, I think I think that's a major hit for the next gen on on PlayStation. Oh, I think so too. And also, you know, here's the other thing too is. Um, the biggest games on the planet these days are often multi-platform and often cross-play. Mm-hmm. I mean, Call of Duty, yep. Fortnite, Apex. Yeah. You don't need to pick a platform. You'll pick the platform your friends are on. Mm-hmm. 
And that's going to be hugely important because if your buddy says, no, it runs better on this one, whether it's true or not. So, no, I mean, the multi-platform has always been a big deal. My only dis uh, disagreement is I don't think the hardware is that big a gap. No, I, I also think, depends I on think how it's you how it's utilized. System. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. how it's utilized. And it goes back to how it's utilized. And the fact of the matter is, is, is historically speaking, uh, Sony utilizes their hardware for their first platform better. for the, for their first party games absolutely but if you, when you look back to the uh the PS3 with its cell architecture multi uh platform companies had no idea what to do with it and oftentimes the uh PS3 release was way worse it was true with BioShock it was true with Skyrim it was true with um Call of Duty it was true with a lot of games Mass Effect none of these games ran as well on PlayStation as they did on Xbox cuz they didn't know how to do the architecture now, that's not going to be an issue because they're using the same bloody chipset. But. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the one thing that we have not talked about, and this is probably one of the most important points for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How quiet are the fans going to be? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's great. Uh, I sit there and we go to stream something on my PlayStation and you just hear. Tower, we are good for liftoff. Just, Please start your engine. <laughs> In the background. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, God. I just, dude, that was terrible. Oh, that, that, was that was, we had to turn my TV volume up. I don't have the best sound system in the world. I got a sound bar and a couple of wall hangers just up there. Just hear it. That was back when we were playing Until Dawn. You had the big ass TV <laughs> with the speakers on it. We still had to turn it up. Um, and I remember we were kicking on until dawn, and he turns around and he goes, "Matt, is your console okay? Is it gonna blow up, <laughs> dude? <laughs> um, it's bad. I was watching you play. No, Ghost so of okay, okay, okay. So there actually is a real point here, <laughs> which is convenience for user, right? Because the PS4 has been loud, oh, dude, just that was, period. That was it's always been loud. The Xbox One is quieter, but not by a heck of a lot. Um, uh, whatever, dude. I can almost not notice it. And I play over here. Keep in mind, I play over here. When I've always no, I've I've, I've I've always noticed it, but um, no, it is it is a good deal. You can no, you can hear it, but it is a good deal quieter than that PS4. Oh my! So gosh. no convenience to user. How efficiently are these things going to run? What is boot time? What is load time? What is all this stuff that affects things too? Because if I'm sitting there and I'm trying to play Call of Duty with my buddies, and I sit there and I go, all right, cool, I'm booting up Call of Duty. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab a Sammy and uh, maybe a cup of coffee. And, well, and that's something that we face know, now. So, like Matt plays on PC when we play Call of Duty, yeah. and he yeah. loads in like now. Whereas they're like, uh, Royce, we're waiting for you. I'm like, y yeah, dude, I'm I'm still I'm still waiting because I'm playing on Matt's you know original Xbox, which well, good machine, but it just, second, it just it's it, second gen. It's not oh, launch, but it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, no, it's, it's not a one X. No, it's not a one X. And so, yeah. no, so there's a significant amount of load time where my buddies now have dead time in their play experience simply because of just the hardware that I'm on. And that that gets old. And at some point, are you going to sit there and if you know about it going in ahead of time, mm -hmm. are you going to pick that console? If you sit there and I go, OK, I go PS5, I load in. Yep. But if I go with Series X, I'm going to have to sit there for 30 seconds while my PlayStation or PC buddies are sitting there waiting for me. Yeah. And the question is, is how are they going to utilize all of this hardware? And, and yes, I'm I mean, using names I mean, I mean, to be 100% to be perfectly honest, I think a lot of this is going to come down to initially on launch. It's going to come down to price point and it's going to come down yeah, to Yeah, everybody games. keeps throwing around 600 bucks, 599 And I, I've, I've not, not seen heard anything, anything to yeah. confirm that. I'm going to tell you right now that at $600, either of these systems is a steal. For what they're offering at $600, either yeah. of them is a steal. I was going to say, no PC. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, if you want to spend two grand. Uh -huh. No PC. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well, matches, you'll get a better rig, but it'll cost you two grand. Yeah, it matches. Well, well, mine's better. It also costs like three times as much. Yeah, you could have bought two PlayStations and a Series X for that one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And had enough for a couple games left over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that's always been the point of console, right? Is it's performance, price, competitive. Well, so and, um, and, 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 and here's the thing, man. Are, are, who has the games on launch? Well, Spider-Man, I, I have my doubts of, but it's still Spider-Man. I um, heard Spider-Man PS4 was... You know what? Late. We need to do a stream of it. You want to? Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I'm so down. Need to bring it back up here. But yeah, yeah. No, no, we need to do that. Um, 
Because uh, I've heard good things about it, too. I've heard the web slinging is the best we've seen since Spider-Man 2 on PlayStation 2. Yeah. So, um, no, and maybe that'll sell me on it. But I'm concerned, and I'm also concerned about Sony's lineup. God of War, I think, is a big title. But it comes up to what Guerrilla Games is doing. It comes up to what uh, Sucker Punch is doing. It comes up to what Naughty Dog is doing. And God, I hope Naughty Dog recovers. Because that used to be a golden goose and now the golden goose is laying 10 eggs so All right. uh so uh, uh we're getting close on time here so yeah here's where i'm at um who do you think takes launch who do you think takes the generation or if not the generation at least up to the first upgrade who takes who takes up to the first upgrade I, I'm, I'm gonna waffle on you here i'm gonna give you a bit of a layered answer i think sony takes it on launch okay but if if Microsoft's re- recent acquisitions on uh, studios pay off. Mm-hmm. They'll take it in the long run. I I, I totally agree. Actually, that's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. I think you're 100 percent right. I think that PlayStation absolutely takes it on launch, depending dependent on price. Yeah, yeah. I think. But if the price is right for both, all of a sudden Sony comes out nine ninety nine. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah. And Xbox <laughs> is just like, hey, people, we'll give you a hundred dollar discount and a free game. Yeah, right. For a hundred dollar rebate or whatever. Yeah, right. You know, or yeah. honestly, what they could do is be like, hey, but that hundred dollar rebate will goes right into your uh, Game Pass. Yeah, I, and honestly, if they did something like that, that'd be really cool. No, I think you're 100 right. I think it's as a five ninety nine console, with, but with, you get a free two years of Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah, I, exactly. I think I yeah. think one hundred percent you're right. I think on launch, PS five absolutely takes launch, but if uh, if they can maximize their hardware, which they have not been doing, if they can maximize their hardware and if, if their studio acquisitions, if their pay studio off, acquisitions, and the pay games off, are worthwhile. Then I believe with the sheer talent Microsoft has acquired in the last three, mm-hmm. four years, I think they will take it in the, the long And run. the one thing that we do know is that Microsoft does have a knack for picking out those first timers that oh, yeah. have a good game. They do have All that. of a sudden they walk into an Apple conference, an Apple conference, and look at some little known tech company named Bungie and goes, no, we like that idea, but you're going to make it a shooter and you're going to release it on our console. Yeah. Give you three guesses on what game that was. Don't tell them. Comment down below if you know... Uh, what that game was and don't forget to comment down below and listen to what you guys think about this conversation and don't ever forget that if you guys comment down below with your thoughts and you guys actually give us something to think about there's a very good chance we are going to highlight you just like we did with sc zombie slayer in today's episode Absolutely. and we're actually going to uh have a conversation about something that you inspired us uh, over so yes. Comment down below, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and until next time, thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy, and cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.